up you guys, it's Judy here with my life as Geek Eye on this channel. I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love for you to join the Geek Eye family. And if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my nightly skincare routine. This video has actually been quite highly requested on my channel, and I thought now would be a great time to film it because I'm just about to take all of this makeup off. I feel like my skin needs a little bit of extra TLC today, and I thought why not do it with a little bit of extra love and care while I'm filming it for you guys. So if you want to see my nightly skincare routine, then just keep on watching. Before I go any further, if you guys do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, three times a week, so you can Turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life is Geek Eye. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Now obviously before I can apply any skincare on my face, I'm going to have to remove all of this makeup that I have on right now. But instead of showing you how I remove my makeup in this video here, because I already do have a fully dedicated video on how I remove my makeup up on my channel, I will leave that video in the description box down below. I'm just going to quickly remove this makeup as I usually do, as I explain in that video, which I will leave again in the description box down below. Then I'll come back and we can start my nightly skincare routine together. I'm not going to go super in depth into my makeup removal because I do again have a video Video fully dedicated to my makeup removal linked in the description box down below so I'm just gonna breeze right through this I'm gonna be taking my virgin coconut oil on a clean microfiber cloth and I'm just going to go into that and use that to remove my makeup microfiber cloth out with my Dove Pure and Sensitive Soap and just taking a bit more coconut oil on that cloth rubbing the rest of that all over my face to remove all the last little bits of makeup left. of my makeup removal routine. Right, now that I have all the makeup thoroughly removed from my skin, I'm now gonna go in with my Jericho Cosmetics Skin Toner. What this toner does for me is that it sort of resets all the pH balance in my skin and leaves my face a blank slate for all the skincare that I'm going to be applying on top. So I just go in with that on a bit of a cotton pad and apply that all over my face. What I love about this skin toner is that it doesn't sting my skin, it doesn't sting my eyes, and it doesn't irritate my skin at all. Next, I'm going to go in with my Kedma Cosmetics Active Serum. The purpose of this active serum is to behave as a conductor for all the skincare that I'm going to be applying on top. Not only does this active serum operate as a conductor, but it also gives my skin a very smooth and silky, flawless sort of feel. So I'm just going to go in with a bit of that. I just take a tiny little pump, like half a pump, and that's all you really need. A very little bit goes a long way, and thank goodness because this is a very pricey toner. <laughs> Serum, I'm going to go in with my Jericho Cosmetics Eye and Neck Gel. Now this one helps reduce fine lines and wrinkles under the eyes and on the neck. It also helps keep my eyes from getting puffy overnight. Like when you know how sometimes in the morning you wake up and your eyes feel really puffy? Well when I use this, I don't have as much puffiness or wrinkles under the eyes as I would if I hadn't applied this eye and neck gel. In this step, you can use any eye cream that you like, any eye cream that works for you. Everyone's got different skin types. So if you found an eye gel, like a, especially a cooling sort of eye gel that works for you, then you go ahead and use that. Now, this one is my holy grail. This is the L'Occitane Immortal Reset Overnight Serum. This one I absolutely love and I swear by. I literally see the benefits and changes on my skin overnight when I use this product. And I can definitely see a difference on my skin when I don't use this product. I do have a full review talking about this Immortal Reset Serum already up on my channel so I will also leave that video listed in the description box down below if you want to go check it out and see exactly what I feel and think about this product but let it suffice to say that right here right now this is one of my holy grail products and while it is a little bit pricey I swear by it. So I'm just going to take half a pump again forehead, cheeks, nose and chin and massage that into the skin. 
This L'Occitane Immortal Reset Serum serves to brighten, firm, make my skin more plump, reduce fine lines and pores, and it just, it just works for me, I tell you, it just works for me. And before I finish all of that off, top it all off with the very last step, which is moisturizer for me. If my skin is feeling a little bit extra dehydrated or needs a little bit of extra luminosity and glow, or a little bit of extra help overnight, then I will go in with my Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I don't use this all the time. I only use this when I feel like my skin needs that little bit of extra oomph to it. I will not be using this one today because I don't feel like I need it and I like to save it for the days when I feel like I actually really do need it. But this one is also a really, really good product. I also do swear by a lot of Drunk Elephant products that I have tried. I don't gravitate towards these very often because they do come in small quantities and big prices. So. I try and really only use this when I feel like my skin really, really needs it. Another Drunk Elephant product that I will use at night if I feel like my skin needs that little bit of extra help is the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. I don't know exactly how to explain this, but it says, I'm just gonna read it off the bottle, this high-tech AHA BHA gel that resurfaces dull, congested skin by gently lifting away dead skin cells, dramatically improving the appearance of texture, uneven tones, fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. The results are greater clarity and luminosity practically overnight. And that is true. I have found that this one does work wonders for me overnight as well, just about as much as the L'Occitane Overnight Reset Serum does. But this one is just that little bit more pricey and that little bit more strong. So this one I could probably get away with using every other night or once every three nights. I don't need to use this every single night. I really only use this when I feel like I need that extra little bit of exfoliation. I believe that this one operates as an exfoliant as well. Glycolic acid is really, really good for the skin. Like it says on here, it lifts away dead skin cells and you can definitely see a difference in your skin overnight. That one really works for me as well. Having said all that, I top all of that off. Then very, very last with my Jericho Cosmetics Intensive Night Cream. Now this one just serves as a, I feel like it's a little bit of a seal it to finish everything off so I just go in with a little bit of that on my finger and again forehead cheeks nose chin and on my neck and massage all of that in And once I've finished my facial skincare, I then go in with the rest of my body. I like to do a full body moisturize before I go to bed each and every night, simply because I feel that my skin it does get dry very, very quickly, so I have to stay on top of it by moisturizing every single night. While I do do my best to try and keep fragrance products away from my face because I do have sensitive skin on my face, the rest of my body is a little bit more tolerant to things with just a little bit more fragrance. So sometimes I go in with this Palm Olive Oil Infusions Body Moisturizer. This one has jasmine and coconut oil in it, and it's smells absolutely divine. This is like one of my favorite body lotion scents ever. It's not oily, it gives me a very deep hydration, it's not greasy, and the best thing about this bottle is that it's like $7, and all of these other products are at least $100, so yeah. Yeah, I know. So often I might swap between this one, my coconut oil. I do use coconut oil for the rest of my body as well as a bit of moisturization. Or I might go in with my Jericho Cosmetics Moist Booster Body Butter. Now this one is a pricey product, but it does go a very, very long way because it is a very thick formula and you only need a very little bit to cover your entire body. And I love this one. I find this one obviously gives me the best moisturization payoff because it's very thick and very intensively moisturizing. So I love this one. It smells great as well. But for the rest of my body, I'm not as picky with my moisturization as I am with the skincare that I apply on my face. Now I do understand that nearly every single one of these products that I have mentioned in my nightly skincare routine today are very pricey products. I know that there are affordable options out there, but this is just what I personally use in my skincare routine. If you have a moisturizer that works for you, that's five dollars then go you that is fantastic that is awesome but for me personally I find that I could buy affordable drugstore makeup all day every day use it be incredibly happy with its performance and be fine with that like I don't need Tom Ford Burberry Chanel makeup because I feel like I can buy a five dollar blush and it will perform much better than a Tom Ford blush that's just how I feel about my makeup but when it comes to skincare I have tried affordable skincare before most times it has broken me out, other times it hasn't worked for me, but when I have actually invested money in my more refined and expensive skincare, I find I get the best payoff. 
Skincare for me is a whole lot more important than even my makeup application. I do put a lot of importance in my makeup application, but I don't feel like I have to spend that much money with makeup to get a better payoff. Whereas when it comes to skincare, I find that the more I invest in my skincare, the more payoff I have on my skin. I still do break out, I get pimples, but I have found that when I keep up with my skincare routine with these particular products, the darkness under my eyes, the wrinkles, the fine lines on my forehead, just the tired, dull looking skin is dramatically reduced when I use these products. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's quite similar to my morning skincare routine. There are just other few little bits and pieces of products here that I didn't mention in the morning one because obviously some of these are night products. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what your nightly skincare routine is. If you have an affordable skincare product that works wonders for you, I would absolutely love to know what those products are because honestly, I don't think that purchasing these expensive skincare products is going to be very sustainable for me in this future, especially when I'm saving up to buy a house. So if you have any affordable skincare products that is your holy grail and works wonders for you, then please leave them in the comments down below and I will definitely go check them out because I am always looking for good affordable skincare products. I just haven't been able to find any yet that have absolutely blown me away with the results that they give me on my skin. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and please be sure to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday and Friday so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. All of them are live at SpeakEye. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I really truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Why not? Why not do it? Why not do it with a bit with a little bit of extra loving care and you know so but in ready but instead of I say it I'm gonna I'm just gonna quickly remove this makeup oh, oh my God. I'm just gonna quickly remove this makeup and then go the purpose of this active serum the purpose of this active serum is to, not only does this not on not only does this active serum behave so I so I might, this one has jasmine and coconut oil, Ooh. I might, then I will grab, so often I might, because honestly I don't think I, that, that work, that is your holy grail, that is your holy grail and works wonders.